so yes guys i actually did put hair cream on my face and guess what it worked <laughs> My name is Tomiwa. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we're going to be going down memory lane and telling you the story of how my face went from baby smooth skin to chronic acne breakouts and finally here where we are now. Yeah. Before we do that, I'd love for you to hit that subscribe button you see on the screen and press the notification bell so you turn on your notifications so you get updated whenever a new video goes up. Now, without further ado, Let's jump right into it. So this is what my face looks like. And I'm going to be showing you or telling you how I got here. So when I say story, story, you say story. And when I say once upon a time, you say time, time. So story, story, story. Once upon a time, time, time. Now this is the story of a little girl who all her life had silky smooth skin. Yes, I'm talking about myself. So all my growing up years, my adolescent years, high school, secondary school, university, I was that girl that would literally hop into the shower, wash my face with whatever body wash I was using to have my bath, you know, head out without sunscreen, lotion, nothing. I had such poor skincare habits that I would go out those clubbing years <laughs> and then come back home tired, not wash makeup off my face and sleep till the next day and still nothing. I mean, the only thing that was there was I was severely sunburned, so my face was really dark compared to my body, but that was because I wasn't using sunscreen. Anyways, fast forward to my middle, late twenties. So I had already, you know, accepted my faith that that was going to be my story. I was going to be that girl that had smooth skin all her life. However, I was in for a rude shock. <laughs> When in 2018, my face literally just went bonkers. Late in October, I think, I started noticing some minor breakouts. Now, typically, whenever I'm about to be on my period, I break out. However, they are very minor and then they go once my period is over without leaving any scars. However, this wasn't my period. This were just breakouts that I was seeing. And bear in mind, at that point, it wasn't even a lot. As you can see on the screen, it was just very little but I was it but I was already freaking out because I'm not used to having anything on my face you know and so I made the first mistake I went and bought like a lot of stuff so I bought not even expensive stuff so I got a lot of body shop stuff I got tea tree oil tea tree oil face wash toner the whole range and a few other stuff I can't remember now and I mean that's probably one of the first mistakes you, you one can make just buying a bunch of stuffs without even checking what is in it and without doing a patch test to see if it works well for your skin and without checking that you know the properties or the components in one of the products will work very well with the other products because there is such a thing as that you know you need to check the BHA to check the retinol the hydraulic acids if they all work together I mean there are so many resources online that tells you what works with what skincare wise so it's best to do that before you actually go and invest in buying a product so yeah i got this tea tree stuff and i know a lot of people swear by tea tree however some people say it didn't work for them and i was one of those so the acne that was just little excavated and became a lot me i was really concerned about it so i decided to go to a dermatologist that a lot of people were raving about and i went to the dermatologist and they did a procedure for me off the top of my head now i can't remember what that procedure was but it was supposed to dry up the acne and then the scars were supposed to fall off right however two weeks in i noticed that didn't happen and they also gave me some lotions i know they gave me a retinol lotion um, I know they gave me a salicylic face wash. I can't remember the other stuff because I've since tossed them, you know. However, they gave me a couple of stuff as well as prescribed for me to use antibiotics for three months. So I was supposed to go through this three months regime and I was supposed to see fantastic results, right? However, it just didn't happen for me. I, I used it religiously for three months, followed all the procedure. Bear in mind, during these three months, the acne had gotten a lot worse and I had like lots of bumps on my face and new acne every single night. You know, that period was a really, really tough and trying period for me because it was also the 
busiest period in my career so i'm a fashion designer and the ember months is really really busy so that coupled with the fact that i had a, a hectic work schedule just wasn't working and i remember that during that period i had an influx of clients and a lot of them would just see my face for the first time so they would just be like what's wrong with you and when when did this happen so there were there was a lot of those surprise questions and then there was one that actually <laughs> was what broke the camel's back so i remember a client came to my store and for a she hadn't been in my store for a while so she hadn't seen me with my breakouts and then she just came in i was like oh my god what happened to your face and i was about to answer her and before i knew it the dam broke like literally guys i burst into tears i was really like i'm sure she felt so embarrassed you know and obviously it was very unprofessional on my own path but yeah um that that happened so that period was really trying for me emotionally physically it messed with my physical esteem and to make matters worse i'm typically not the type of person that likes to use a lot of make a lot of makeup and i also knew that i was breaking out so there i was <laughs> between the devil and the deep blue sea you know i couldn't use makeup to cover my spots and yet i was breaking out so i was there going barefaced every single day so i did this for three months and at the end of the three months i went for a follow-up check and you know, I was disheartened. What happened? Mine didn't work. And the dermatologist was telling me how, oh, he could see new skin cells, that my face was looking good. I'm like, yo, all I see is new breakout and my face not looking good. So what are you talking about? Anyways, I thought to, you know, try something else. Because in my mind, I'm just like, this Nigerian dermatologist have come again, you know. And so I was just randomly on internet one day and then I stumbled on like a sponsored post of like some natural skincare products so I decided to get this natural skincare product because on their page the results were amazing like really amazing it was and that's another thing guys if you see something that is too good to be true it actually probably is too good to be true so <laughs> bear in mind yes yeah, so I remember speaking to my sister about about trying to get their products and she was like yo <clears throat> the products look dodgy the packaging is this i'm like as long as you know it actually does the work i don't really care about the packaging so i actually ordered for this product online they weren't even in lagos which is where i live they were somewhere in the east in another state so i ordered it shipped it to lagos and the second thing that should have been a warning bell for me was the fact that in their procedure for using the products so you get the products and they'll send you a voice note on how to use the products right now every single resource I have read on the internet and trust me I read everything about hormonal acne adult acne breaking out what to do what not to do every single resource I have I had read and watched on YouTube always said the same thing whatever you do do not pick your pimples you know However, here was this voice note telling me that to use their products, the first thing I needed to do was to pick my acne, right? It sounded dodgy to me, but then I'm like, okay, you know what? If this is what gave those people on their page the result, I'm going to go ahead and do it. So I followed the steps, you know, and guess what, guys? It worked. Yes, I know you were not expecting to hear that, but it worked for the first two weeks. So the first two weeks, my acne had dried up. You know the spots were getting lighter I was so excited I even send them a review saying yo your product is fantastic you know however by one month I noticed that there was a spot treatment that you were supposed to put directly on the dark marks however no matter how careful you are it will still spill around your face and then I noticed that spot treatment was making patches around my spots lighter so my face had started you know getting lighter in patches and I stayed looking like I had eczema which was really horrible as you can see and so I sent them you know a review saying yo guys this is what's happening to my face and these guys legit told me to keep using the product and keep doing the same thing I was doing I'm like how does that add up you know obviously at that point I knew there was something wrong so I stopped using that product and of course as expected the vengeance with which the acne came back was like times two of how we started it was horrible now my the background of my face was lighter my acne was darker and it was painful it was really horrible so at this point I decided to try another dermatologist that one of my friends swore by and I went to the dermatologist they kind of 
told me the same thing that the first dermatologist said, you know, use the take take drugs, take um, antibiotics for, I think it was one month or something, and then um, gave me some other ointments, retinol, glycolic acid, and a couple of things at that point, you know, so I followed this religiously for one month, but I'd already said to myself, you know what, if by one month I'm not seeing results, I'm not going to do the same thing I did the other time where I waited for three months and still didn't see results. So I gave it one month and after one month, I really honestly wasn't seeing results. In fact, in this picture you can see of, it was just at the end of that one month when I was crying to my sister because I had just gotten to my wit's end. Nothing was working. Along the line, I had tried other natural products that seemed really legit, you know, however, I still wasn't working for my skin. So I was really, really disheartened. And then at that point, my sister said, okay, you know what, let's go to this final dermatologist. And if this one doesn't work, then we know that <laughs> this is your case. It's only God that can answer it, you know. So I went to this final dermatologist and, you know, they seemed to know what they were doing. They asked me to do a cosmelon treatment. Now, if you guys, anybody that's going through acne that has really done their research would have come across the cosmelon treatment once or twice. And so people swear by it. It's supposed to be really good. It's supposed to be a pill. That will peel up peel off the first layer of your skin and then bring out the acne and clear your face anyways i did this cosmelon treatment and i remember when you do the cosmelon treatment your face will physically peel so as you can see my face was peeling my face was in a mess i remember there was one of my friends that was opening up the store and i'm one of those people that if you stand for me i stand for you if you support me i support you come with me and she was opening up her store and I really felt like I needed to support her. So I went there without makeup with my face peeling, wore a, wore a hat. And when I got there, I could hear little background, you know, comments and snickers about, oh, this is not what we see on Instagram. Oh my God, what's wrong with her face? All of that good stuff. And actually all of that bad stuff. <laughs> and then, I mean, I left really sad because I'm like, yo, this is me, you know. And afterwards... I think shortly after this was July 2019 and I went to another dermatologist in the UK who you know recommended a bunch of dermatological products for me which I decided to buy right so I bought some dermatological products and then I came back and I was using them and my face actually slowly started getting better you know I could feel like the texture the quality of my skin wasn't so dried out and you know the acne started reducing slowly <laughs> yeah but then i made the second mistake yeah i saw that i was already getting results on my acne i was eager for the spots to clear so i decided to buy two other products so i bought like a toner i think it was Oli hairy skin or whatever however it's pronounced rapid spot toner and then i bought another serum that was supposed to clear the spots rapidly so i was using those things together with the dermatological products however i realized that I stopped seeing results so my acne started coming back out so I knew to just toss those that serum and toner that I bought and just toss it away and then I continued with Demologica up until December then I went to buy I remember I went to a store to buy makeup stuff however they advertised Estee Lauder they advertised as the lot of products to me and I had heard quite previously you know about the Estee Lauder advanced night repair so this is what it looks like yeah the Estee Lauder I don't know if you can see it I hope you can yeah so I'd heard about the Estee Lauder advanced night repair serum so I got that I also got the Estee Lauder advanced night micro cleansing foam which is supposed to be a face wash to use at night and then I got the Estee Lauder day wear with SPF and just after getting that I was looking for a serum to use after that and one of my friends spoke very highly of the Clarins Mission Perfection Serum so this is what it is so I decided to get the Clarins Mission Perfection Serum and add to my regimen so what I did was I, I made the Estee Lauder slash Clarins products my nighttime routine and then I was using my Demologica during the daytime and you know I was getting good results well moderate to good results and so I used that consistently from December to March so March came the corona pandemic came and 
my products finished and then I was looking for what else to use. Now I remember during my, you know, earlier dabbling into different products and trust me guys, I dabbled into a lot of products, you know. Um, I had bought Fig Face Wash. Fig is a natural skincare company here in Nigeria. So I had bought their face wash, you know. So I decided to pick it up and use it. Yeah, so this is what it is. Fig Brightening Face Wash with turmeric and lemon. I don't know if you can see it, but yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah. And so I picked it up and I had it lying around, so I picked it up and decided to use it. And then I was looking for what to use as a lotion. Now, I remember that my brother had just got like a hair lotion or hair cream for his hair that was supposed to be really good. It was supposed to be natural. So, yeah, guys. It's the Jamaican Black Castor Body Butter, right? I hope you can see it. So I did read behind it that he had castor oil and coconut oil and that he faded scars, you know. So I'm like, okay, let's try it out. So yes, guys, I actually did put hair cream on my face and guess what? It worked. So I used the pig face wash and the... Jamaican black castor oil butter with coconut oil as a lotion and the first night by the time I woke up the next morning My face was looking good <laughs> Like I had I had had like maybe five new breakouts the, the day before and by the, that morning It had reduced to like two or three So I was like, okay, this thing seems to be working and I used it for the period of the lockdown So we're in lockdown March to May and so I used that and my face like literally was revived and the breakouts were less you know so i knew i was onto something there however i wasn't too comfortable about using you know hair cream for my face continuously so when the lockdown was lifted i did go back to buy the normal things that i used yeah so currently what i use is fig i kept this I absolutely love it my skin eats it up so fig face wash with turmeric and lemon that's what I used to wash my face and then I followed that with Clarins Mission Perfection Serum you know as a serum and then some nights I use Dermalogica lotion Dermalogica pure light SPF 50 lotion. I use it at night. I'm su it's supposed to be used for the morning, but I use it some nights. And in the mornings, I go back to my fig face wash and I go back to my Clarins serum and then I do Estee Lauder Daywear lotion with SPF in the mornings. Yeah. And then once or twice a week, I use the Clarins one step gentle exfoliating cleanser just to exfoliate my face and that's where i currently am those are everything that i use to get my face from what you saw before to what it currently is and bear in mind that my face isn't what it used to be before but it's closer to where i want to be and it's far from <laughs> where i was coming from about two years ago so that is my acne story and now that i've told you how I got here, what I'm using. I will be going ahead to sample skincare products and you know, we'll be checking together to see how it works on my face, yeah? So thank you guys so much for watching. If you have comments, if you have um, suggestions, if you have tips, you can go ahead and drop it in the comment section. And then you can also please subscribe if you haven't subscribed to this video and give us a thumbs up and share and all that good stuff. Also follow me on Instagram, on WhatsApp, Tomiwa and all the other social media networks. Yeah, so till the next video, au revoir. <laughs>